Alright, g'day guys, Andrew Dwight here. We're going to talk about uh, plus spec and estimating a little bit. Now I understand that a lot of you use it for design, however a lot of it also use it to get an estimate from their design. And a lot of people have asked how I know how accurate plus spec is. So here's a good way to test anything. So the best thing about uh, estimating is that some things are very easy to work, on, work with. So for instance the decimal system working in tens is very easy. So if I made a wall one metre high and therefore I can figure out if I draw a wall one metre long I'm going to type in one metre and enter obviously I'm going to have one square metre of wall. I should have one square metre of, of jib rock and everything else that's associated with the wall. It looks as though we've just got two faces there. However, we've got a lot more. I'm going to do a takeoff from this model now. Okay, so I'm going to go to my termite barrier, which is one lineal meter of termite barrier. And the supply and fit prices can be added in, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. We have 49 bricks in a square meter. Okay, uh, Brick hardware, we have one square meter of brick hardware and one lineal meter of flashing underneath the wall. And in our insulation, we have one square meter and internal finishes, we have one square meter. Okay, so it kind of makes sense and it's a good way to check it. It's very difficult to ascertain whether the quantities are correct as we get uh, into larger models. So there's one other thing that I was missing there. You'll notice that it didn't have the timber behind the wall and that's because the layer is turned off. So if I go to here and turn on my framework, you'll notice it's unticked here and I do a, a bill of quantities now. it's going to go to my framework and inside of my framework I have structural timbers okay so I have two at one meter a total of one meter they would be my top plates and I have three at three at 930 millimeters long obviously an imperial would be the same thing I can associate price let's just go back and have a bit better look at that now one thing that's really good for estimating is that we don't order everything at the same time so I'm going to go here to structure and I'm going to look at my structure because it's only a one meter by one meter wall you can see there's not much in it however if I want to dimension it you can see that I have 930 millimeters and a bottom plate one meter Oops, didn't quite click there. All right so I have three at 930 and one at one meter if I go back to all you notice that works out Okay, so that makes it very handy to be able to do several things. And I did notice before that I put prices in. If I wanted to put prices into here, I can select the wall. So I use spacebar to select. And if I go to my dollar signs, I can update my prices. Set my price from insulation. And I've already done it. And this particular um, job here, uh, they, they supply and fit for $5. So I just put five in the top and just put included in the bottom. My termite barrier. Uh, and it's $15 and if I want to write included or leave it at zero it'll say $15 or I can put in a price so they might charge say $20 a meter to install it okay uh, timber structural I have a price in there and so on I save them and I've now updated them to plus spec so next time I use it it will remember those prices let's go back and do a takeoff and before you'll notice that uh, on our termite barrier we had the $15 there and if our insulation, brick hardware, brickwork, framework, and so on, all is updated with those prices that I put in there before. Okay, so I hope that gives you a bit of an understanding of how to figure out what's happening. Obviously, when you put in a window, uh, things uh, go on top of that. And uh, if you want to hold on, we'll go back to our windows and have a look. So, <coughs> excuse me, guys. I'm down with a bit of the flu. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw a wall 10 metres long. I'm just going to delete this. We don't need this anymore. I think you've got that. I'm going to make a wall 10 metres high. And we're going to make a wall 10 metres long. So we should be working on 100 square metres. So 10, 1,000, 10 metres. Okay, and I'm going to make my header height, say, 2 metres, which is the top of the window. And go submit. And I'm going to draw a wall 10 metres long type it in okay and I now have a wall
wall 10 meters long by 10 meters high. If I do a takeoff, all my prices have all carried through to the next wall, and you'll notice that I have 10 lineal meters of everything in my framing and everything required and a price associated with it. 4,850 bricks. Okay, when I go back and put a window in, so if we looked at our, at our brickwork here, we have 4,850 bricks. However, we go and put in a brickwork here, and I'm going to put in a window one meter wide. Now, the reason why it's calculating the actual sizes of those bricks is because uh, those bricks have been done by Austral, and they're correct. And we can figure out how many bricks. If you create your own uh, bricks, let's put this in, I'll put it in one meter wide. It will tell you how many square meters are in there. Okay, so now I have a, a window that is one meter high. You can see that there, and one meter wide. So now, when I go and do a bill of quantities, yeah, okay, and we went to our brickwork, 4,802 versus the last one, which is 4,850. It's automatically deducting the amount of bricks. That's pretty powerful. You can imagine how much you can get done very, very quickly. Let me go back to here. Also, I mentioned earlier that we want to segregate different parts of the wall. So I might not want to order bricks at this time, I want to create a purchase order. So I'm going to go to here and go down to here and at the moment I've just got 111 as a job address. However, I want to create a purchase order or I want to send out for quote. I'm going to go purchase order. All right. uh, and go down to the bottom and go submit. I might want to put other restrictions in so that people knew when I created a purchase order it had special classifications. However, stick to the point. Right, I've now created a, a told it that I'm going to create a purchase order and I'm going to click take off now and all of my jobs have come up with a purchase order. See there? I'll go back. A, now I only want to order my structure. Okay, so here's my timber. I'm going to take off and now you'll notice I only have my framing. So essentially we can turn layers on and off uh, to be able to associate prices. If you ever see anything with a zero value, it means I haven't put a price in it. So if I went back to my model and selected the wall and go to my prices, I can quickly go down to uh, my timber, which I think was 140, and set a price. So you can look up a price for this. I'm going to say it's $5, $500, and I might charge. Five dollars a meter to install these kind of, kind of things. Save an update price. Close it down and now update it. And now you'll notice that my timber has my five dollars a meter both ways. I'm starting to get a price together. If I want to add margin on top of my job, fifteen percent. You notice that it's updating the margin on the job. So everyone has a different margin that they work to. I hope we all work on a larger margin than fifteen percent away we go. Alright, look, I hope it helps you out. Give it a test. Uh, you can do several walls in combination. Uh, let's go to here. And we might say we're going to draw several different walls. Okay, we can go and change the products. And, and obviously every product can be, have a different price. So if I said, well, you know what, I'm going to change these bricks. I'm going to search a different Austral brick. And I might want to use I don't know, this one here. Submit. It changed the one that was already selected. Okay, now I have 10 meter high by 10 meter, or however wide it was that I drew it. Okay, and the product, if I selected it, yeah, I'm not sure if it's got a price in this yet, so let's go down and have a look. Set price, it doesn't have a price, so you'll notice if I took it off now and go to my bricks. I don't have a price in there. I can go in and I can associate my prices with this here and whatever it might be. Okay, now I have that price updated. You never have to do it twice, which is a big benefit. All right, guys, I hope that helps es uh, explain estimating. Just go to our website and check out more or comment if you have any more questions. Cheers.